Hello and welcome to Beyond the Rift, where we're going to be talking about Super Monday Night Combat's patch notes because it's Thursday, not Tuesday like we normally stream at, and that's just what's going on tonight. So, thank you for joining us. I am your host, Demon Machine, with my co-host here, Revel. What's up? And we are joined by our guest, Mr. Dr. Omega. Not Mr. Dr. Omega, just Dr. Omega, but I like to call him Mr. sometimes, just to be fun. Dr. So, Omega. now that we are going to be discussing <laughs> the patch notes, everybody has seen the notes, I'm sure. If you have not, you should just definitely go by Uber's website that crashed a little earlier today, or I just was unable to get to it because you're fail. I could not read it. Anyway, so the patch notes are quite interesting. Some of the really big things are the map. Everybody's new talking map. about the map. New map. New maps. Yay, new maps. It's got pretty pictures and all sorts of fun stuff like that. We did just get finished playing a game, so you always got to show up for the pre-show portion of it that involves games. And then, of course, we will play more games onward afterwards. But, so, Mr. Dr. Omega, sir, person... What yeah. is your opinions on the patch notes thus far? Well, that are out. Uh, well, obviously the new map is uh, pretty amazing. I mean, it's going to be really interesting to see how that plays out because I, I think there's still an Annihilator, but they, they added a new... I could be wrong. Mm -hmm. Someone correct me in chat if, if there isn't any because they've basically added this giant cannon that costs $750 and it attacks the other team's uh, side of the map. I think the players are just... It just bombards them at some point. So, I mean, I, we don't really have any details on that right at the moment because we'll have to see and wait and see, I guess. But uh, that's one thing. The other thing, I mean, gameplay-wise that we can definitely comment on is the uh, the way the mechanic works with the money ball right now. So before, when the as, when you're playing really good teams, if your shields went down on a turret or the money ball went down, it, against against good players, it was always very likely that they would pretty much be dead because yeah. especially with turrets because if the, if the shields go down all you got to do is just tap it every once in a while mm. and it's pretty much there's nothing you can do about it it's very difficult like so especially if there's any range character uh, oh yeah so now Megabeth. basically <laughs> it has a maximum of 20 seconds that it can stay in that state before the shields go up uh which is a really neat feature what that means and it's the same thing with the with the money balls actually let me correct myself because i think for turrets it's longer i think uh let me just bring it i'm reading it here i think for turrets it's 40 seconds needless to say anyway there's a maximum time let me see where is it do 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 so i don't tell lies yeah for for shields on the turrets it's 40 seconds and for the money ball it's 20 seconds cool so the, i think you know the the outcome of that is games might actually go a bit longer because uh, turtling uh, is going to be easier. <laughs> because yeah. uh, before you could, uh, I mean, you could kind of lock the bot waves down, but when the money ball stayed down, it just kept spawning jackpots, and uh, you couldn't really stop, say, a commando just hitting it on the sides or something. But now what it could mean is, okay, you have 20 seconds of it staying down, but it, the shields are going to go back up, so as long as you can lock down some of the bot waves, you have a chance to turtle a little bit more. And the same thing with the turrets. As long as you can kind of distract the team for 40 seconds that they don't, so they can't kill your turret, then you have a chance to get the shields back up, which is huge because mm -hmm. then you could, uh, you know, make them stay up, right? If you win a team fight, kill a couple people, you know, then you're, you, you can get your shields back up, um, which was more difficult before because the shields stayed down for a very long time. You could oh, even yeah. Yeah. kill people and then they spawn back in especially if they're a commando or an assassin, they could hit it again or something. So anyway, games might be longer. Uh, easier to turtle. I mean, that we'll see. I, I, it's On the surface, I'd say it's a good move, but mm -hmm. we'll have to wait and see how it plays out. So I have to just play it. But yeah. uh, it'll be probably tomorrow. That yeah, for I'll most get a of chance. Us. It's coming out later tonight, I think. So. Yeah, they said a couple hours uh, a couple hours ago. So What do you guys think? What's the favorite thing for you? There's also flare pins. You can put bacon on your chest now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw the flare pins. I'm like, all right, I can see yeah, that. Yeah, we can, be, we can run with flare, you know, like the guy from. And uh, remember, guys, always press uh, H when you kill somebody. Right. Always just, just press H all the time. <laughs> you know, if you hit, if you fire, press H, and then you fire again and press H, because that that gives you money. My my Don't favorite uh, flare pin. So it's like this little. It's like the pin you put on your chest is uh -huh. the ammo bacon. Oh, it looks pretty cool. I love bacon. Yeah, I bacon. actually need to get my I love bacon or uh, bacon wristband from Pax. Oh yeah, yeah, I yeah. have mine. Yeah, yeah, not on you, you jerk. Nope. So I also don't have my armband that says uh, I can go all night long. On me that I got from Pax. 
I do like how they have the the audio sound that lets you know you were in a match is now plays uh, in and out of the game. So like if you have the game in the background, it will still blow your horn. So yeah, exactly. <laughs> it will wow. toot your horn to let you know the game is ready, which is awesome. Wow, yes, this it game is. does a lot for people. It I does. Guess. I know. Oh. It'll even toot your horn. <laughs> it will toot your horn. It will. It will. Okay. Added new effects for critical headshots. Very cool. Mm, uh, critical headshots. Uh, another. Another. Did you see what the kind of the feature was of the new map? They'll have a, a jungle below and above the map. Oh, oh, two jungles. That means anyone can jungle. Yeah. What are we going to do with this mess? I don't know. I mean, it's gonna, it looks like a really interesting map. It's it a does. It looks incredibly the, complex. The, uh, yeah. yeah. No, not really. Is there three lanes in this one? No. I don't think or so. Or is the jungle it's... just the... Hmm. No, the top jungle lanes, looks really it's, similar it's to the, the other map. Above and below. Um, yeah, Locomoco. Yeah. I wonder where the Annihilator is. I don't know. I couldn't really tell from the pictures they posted where the Annie is. Okay, there is an Annie because it's above it. It says Annihilator. But uh, there's also a giant turret. Do you see the picture for that? It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Giant turret. It looks pretty cool. Yeah. Looks pretty cool. I like the uh, stone statue of the uh, sniper. sniper. Yeah. Looks looks pretty. It has the same kind of art style as Bullet Gorge, though, which kind of... I wish they changed it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. but so we had an invigorating heated discussion earlier about... Uh, some of us who are a little upset the fact that they didn't nerf Megabeth any thoughts, interestings, you know. Uh, I guess well, they I they effectively nerfed Megabeth in a lot of those issues with the turret timer, and you know those things because she can't just jump up and tag the turret. You know. Well, that, that's, like that's I was explaining good. to one of our viewers earlier, like yep. I can understand why people are upset at Megabeth, you know, like claiming like, oh, hey, Megabeth's OP, whatever. Because basically, it has the mobility of, say, uh, almost almost the commando. Because, I mean, if you rocket jumping doesn't really hurt your uh, health that much. It's negligible. So, uh, so you can go jungle right away. And usually against a good team, there'll be more than one jungler. You'll go with someone. And uh, the problem is, uh, I mean, the devs claim that it has the same DPS the rockets do as, say, an assault or something. Like, mm -hmm. it's in line with the other... Um, uh, attacker classes, but uh, I don't know how they got that statistic because it's a little strange because it's not can't really compare it in terms of DPS because first of all, on Megabeth there's no damage fall off on the rockets, so an assault, right. you know, holding down the uh, you know his fire on his gun, first of all there's bullet spread, all those bullets aren't gonna land, so I don't know if the DPS is you know you're landing every bullet and close to them. Then mm -hmm. maybe they have the same DPS, but you see, you see where it's it's a little weird to kind of compare it like that. So because first on Megabeth, there's no damage fall off. The AOE is really large on the uh, on the explosion. So if so, say on Loco, if you're up in the jungle uh, and you're not being contested or whatever, like you can you can shoot people, and uh, w while shooting them, be killing bots because the radius is so large. Yeah. Um, and also um, you have a laser, so. The you can basically unlike an assault like land all your shots and even on even at range you can kind of do that so it's yeah especially if uh, you're, even if you're fighting just bots I mean you have all your damage almost guaranteed yeah from you can push lanes really far away from you while being in a safe yeah. area yeah and like like as like I said earlier like I don't I don't really believe in you know uh, you know shit's op I mean especially since it's so early of a game but. I can understand where some of the frustrations coming out out of because basically the meta game now to me is uh, you need a, like a Megabeth and another good jungler like on your team, and then you you basically you have to fight them in jungle. Like if you mm -hmm. if you if you don't win that, like so you're basically always fighting for the the, the jungle control with the other to to get that Megabeth out of there mm -hmm. on some of the maps anyway. Like on on the on the Loco Moco is, a, is probably the the ideal example for that. Yeah. And so then, uh, if you don't, then it's just ridiculous, right? Because there's there's not much you can do about it because you're just going to get constantly harassed. I mean, that could be said about anything, but about right. all the other classes too, not not just Megabeth. But the problem is when you go and try and fight her, I guess people find it really annoying because, like I said, 
rocket jumping doesn't really hurt you. So if you rocket jump and shoot the moon, you can get really far. And even on top of that, you can constantly be like kind of bunny jumping yourself back to spawn, yeah. mm. like back back to your side of the map. So it makes it very difficult for a like shooting you, even just someone to shoot you. So you put massive air on her, and you rocket jump all over the place. It's very difficult to grapple or do anything, right? Yeah. So if you're a commando that wants to go fight in jungle, fighting the megabeth, and the megabeth's doing all this crazy shit, like because you can you can basically rocket jump, right. shoot a rocket at them, and then rocket jump again. <laughs> Like or you know like you could so it you the way you're moving I mean because the main way you're gonna do damage is by with the with like say an assassin trying to fight her is uh you know Man. slashing her when you're close or yeah. grappling her so that I mean the grappling her if you're if you're playing a good me mega bet you could just rocket jump hopefully you have shoot the moon up then you shoot the moon run away which you're going really fast then rocket jump again and then you're pretty much done like you can you're gone so it's very difficult to actually kill them in jungle you can you can harass them away from the lane but it's very difficult to kill them so maybe uh -huh. people find that annoying yeah uh, if you're playing well so the, the the thing is the thing is i the, the major like like just mathematical kind of you know problems is, 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 you see the, the point is, like, if the metagame is you have to get Me Megabeth out of the jungle so he doesn't harass the lane, mm -hmm. like, is that, I mean, this is an open question, like, is that necessarily, does that mean it's unbalanced? Because if, if, if you're focusing, if, if, if someone uses a Megabeth and your strategy requires that you deal with them or else you're, you're screwed, then is it too, does that mean that the character is too hard or is that just the way the meta is? Like, I don't, you see, like, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, but I mean, statistically, mathematically, like I was saying, it, it's a little bit different too, right? Because if an assault, uh, the because the devs always argue, you know, DPS is the same, but right. you you when you laser someone, you can land those rockets. You're gonna land all four of those rockets, like especially mm -hmm. if you're above them in jungle, it's easy. Mm -hmm. So, uh, versus an assault takes uh, time. Like I guess, well, it's DPS, but you know, you're gonna miss. Like there's fall off and there's spread. Yeah, and on this thing, there's giant AOE and no fall off. So I mean, if you compare those two, yeah. and then the and then it's, a, it's supposed to be an attacker class, but has the mo crazy mobility uh, of mm -hmm. an assassin, and he, and in some ways is even harder to kill than an assassin oh, because yeah. if you're rocket jumping properly to get away, then you're very very difficult to like grapple or stop because because an assassin can kind of blow her load so to speak and just yeah. jump away. But if you're like a veteran, you could like you know freight train after her. Like you know, there's ways to kind of like grapple her or whatever. Mm -hmm. But a megabet doesn't matter. He doesn't need. He's not skill dependent for her escapes so much, because okay, you have one really excellent escape with shoot the moon, but then you can bounce around, <laughs> yeah, just with your pockets. So I mean, all these things considered, uh, makes her frustrating to play against. Makes her fun to play, but yeah, make, makes it a point of interest when playing against her because it's something that's annoying. Uh, mm -hmm. Should a class be annoying like that? I don't know. I mean, I, I, a lot of people argue sniper is very annoying if you have a good sniper. I mean, that could mm -hmm. be OP, uh, yeah. you know, but that's just you playing well. And similarly, Megabeth playing well is very annoying. But I don't know. I, th I would like to see it tweaked a little bit because my inclination is is that something's not quite right there. So I, I would like to see maybe, uh, I think it could be balanced very easily if uh, rocket jumping damaged you more. I think really that's all you need because rocket jumping is so just whatever right now. Like, you, right, like there have been right. situations where I literally have like 200 health. And I've actually successfully rocket jumped over uh, a, a wall and saved myself. <laughs> nice. All right. Well, we have a caller. We have a caller here, uh, Mr. Jason. Jason. Can you hear us? And we can hear you. Yes, I can hear you. Okay, great. All right, great. What so, can we do for you, sir? Yes. Um, I'm actually Sweet Jackal and Chad, as well as Sucky oh, Jack on the game that we played. Nice, nice. Very Thanks cool. for joining us. Hello. And uh, it's just something in terms, just to expand a little bit about the entire Megabeth discussion. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things in the meta is that you do have to go into the jungle with Megabeth in order to be even remotely effective in the long run. And right. uh, something that can actually be done to practically directly counter that is having another dual team go up there with either a spark or a carl well sorry not a spark or carl uh, assault or carl carl can right. land a um, 
stun on Megabeth, which will pretty much kill her outright in the first two minutes you of the game. You have to land the stun. And yeah. mm -hmm. Assault removes the entire um, height advantage that's needed for her rocket, rockets to actually maintain maximum effectiveness. Uh, and speaking as someone who mains support, I see I have gotten it trained to the point that if I know there's a Megabeth on their team, mm -hmm. I'm going to be wary to the point that I'm not going to be standing around in one place too long, just as I wouldn't be standing around in one place too long if there was a dual um, commando team out there. Uh -huh. So you just have to, something you do have to be aware of. And yeah. it is a case that if I see either the spinning rainbow of death or the, that giant laser showing up on me, I'm booking it for the high heavens and pretty much bunny hopping, doing everything I can to get out of the way. Yeah. Because is that laser is so distinctive and it is the exact same thing you see when you see support uh sorry combat girls combat laser yeah so mm -hmm. it is something that should be avoid 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 if you get behind something it really can't hurt you okay yeah uh well, just, that's well it, unless points, it hits the ground uh, to comment on but like just just some things i would just throw out there uh i mean from what you're saying like in pubs, especially, like uh, it's it's easy not to die to it, right? I mean, that see that that's not that's not really the point. Like in to me anyway. Like in in in, in high level kind of like almost scrims that I've played in, you, I mean, you can you can not die. It's easy not to die. The point is you give up a lot of map control, and you're right. You do have the counter is you have to fight them in jungle like all the time. Like you need to, you need two people or however many are up there. You have to match it. Yeah. Otherwise, like on certain maps, anyway. I mean, this is ba basically where, when I'm saying this, I'm talking about loco moco is what I'm thinking, right? Mm -hmm. So you you're giving up so much real estate, like to not die uh, to the megabeth shooting down on you that you will lose in a high level game because they'll just push to your rockets and yeah. as soon as shields go down the way it is now, not pre pre this patch. Your, your turret's dead. Like so, it's very easy to p push into your base and and maintaining jungle control like that. Uh, the level advantage they're going to get too from the gremlins and from and from their ability to push your turrets and get that extra hundred will be will be at. They can easily be two levels above you by first Annie if you don't fight it. And then you're pretty much uh, against a good team. You cannot. Uh, yeah, yeah, you will have to give yeah. the first Annie up, and then it's just it's a steamroll from there on out. Like game, the game will last mm -hmm. ten minutes. So, uh, the, the, the point, just what to you, give a little you, bit more perspective on this though, if a Carl that sits up in top on jungle in bullet gorge has about the same amount of harassment potential as a mega Beth that stands up jungle on, uh, on loco moco, there's just so yeah, many yeah. nice little angles that they can bounce oh, yeah. right. buddies off you're, them. You're right. The no, you, you're, you're exactly correct. The, the, and that's why the only thing I, the thing I said that maybe I can see why people, uh, are, are more annoyed at the Megabeth than say a Carl like buddy spamming in the lane like that's what I'm, I'm guessing you're referring to like above the jungle on Bullet Gorge that's a great way to yeah, harass. You sit yeah. up in Bullet Gorge you literally bounce sure. them right off those nice little curves that rise up yeah. and you can yeah, just yeah. bounce them right behind the turret and the only thing that makes it different damage. is that when you go to contest them in jungle Carl has very low movement speed I mean yeah. he has one jump the prop pump to get over a wall but that's pretty much it versus Megabeth can shoot the moon or can rocket jump shoot the moon and just be gone like it very yeah. difficult you chase her yeah. off and then you get back to where you were and then she's right back there before you can you know think twice so that that's what I'm saying like it's not on it's not you can't you can like there are ways to fight it it's just the point is the meta is basically you constantly have to fight her away from it and it's very difficult to kill her like so it's almost like a, a weird stalemated position like against good people like because you're you're fighting but like it's you know it's very difficult to actually either side make a a real advantage i mean like this is i mean if you're both the same skill level if you're not then it's just going to come down yeah. to who wins that fight and then right, that's right. going to determine and the game who's willing to back out or who's willing to back out first and give up control right right um, or you scare but, them to the point where uh this is they they seem to be really hurting my health like let's just give but then see but then against good teams like i'm talking like scrim quality teams that they're never going to be like mm -hmm. oh well let's just give them jungle 
So it, it's going to come down to just who wins jungle, which actually, in some ways, I would argue, this makes the game exciting. Because then it comes down to, because if someone kills someone, like they, in the jungle for jungle control, it makes a big deal, right? Yeah. So, cause, uh, so then it, it starts to slowly, uh, you know, snowball a little bit. I but uh, I, I mean, I, I would. I, 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 I'm not. I'm not really suggesting on the same my, myself here. that it's overpowered. I, but I, I'm. I'm just trying to outline mm. the picture to understand why people think it is, and I definitely mm. understand why they think it is. But yeah, what were you saying? No, I'm thinking oh, of coming in with just a bit of a different position from uh, what I thought you were saying because I missed about a good. 10 seconds of the conversation or possibly more between the stream delay and oh, uh, yeah, yeah. getting yeah. things switched over to Skype so I can actually hear that. Yeah, yeah, um, it's funny. And then you get that, like, a weird, crazy, yeah. It can, yeah, it can be, yeah it no, can everything be you're saying is good, dude. It's just, it's just like, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I think, I mean, you, you see the points that I'm raising, right? Like, you see I why. do, because the, you're, if you're playing a Megabath, your point, the, the, literally, the point is to be annoying, and you have yeah. the ability <laughs> yeah. means to get away from death. It's the same way as if you're playing Assault. You're literally supposed to be annoying, and you have the means to get yeah. away from death. That's every other commando that's out there. Yeah, and I, and I would argue, uh, yeah, and, and the point, yeah, the, if you have no damage fall off and crazy AOE, and yeah. and what and the the cherry on top is like ridiculous mobility because you can constantly rocket jump because it doesn't yeah. really hurt you, uh, then that's extremely annoying. And the problem is people like, and I understand why, and I would willing to almost agree with them. I think that's more annoying than almost every other class. Yeah. So really, what you're saying is we should play it's... another match, and you should be mega. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, that's what I'm hearing just, right now. It's the question I mean, of you look at it where if you got the assassin and Sparks who are very fast and very mobile, they have their shurikens and their little, spark, you know, lightning gun. And really high damage output, but they have to be kind of close. You have to be. You for, have to be pretty close, and you also damage. have to hit them. If you can, you imagine say throwing a rocket launcher on the assassin. That would just be ridiculous. Well, the thing is, like, if you're if you're like an assassin that. with with your task of okay, like you're a commando now, go deal with the megabeth. You you, I mean, what what are you gonna try and do? You're gonna try and get close to them and try and slash them, mm -hmm. and then maybe hopefully grapple them. Now, a competent megabeth is gonna see you coming, like rocket jump up in the air where you can't do any of those things I mentioned, and then shoot the moon, or if not. Just constantly rocket jump to make it very difficult because you could be moving towards your side of the map to behind your turrets uh, defensively because you can you can rocket jump yourself three four times it's not gonna really gonna hurt your health that bad like it's it's still doable right so well, anyway I feel it has a much big rocket jumping has a much bigger impact on your total health pool at level one and two than it does at level five or after oh, because yeah. you have much I like will admit pool. that I don't get much of a chance to play Mega Beth because I don't play in yeah, really, it's not as viable, league. but like, but solo public by big game. And um, totally hold on, what it comes right down to is that Megabeth is generally an instant lock player, and I yeah. don't feel comfortable instant locking the player because I like playing to the team. Yeah, yeah. What uh, do you think that if they did do a draft mode for this, that Megabeth would just be automatically banned ninety percent of the time? Probably. I, I don't know. I certainly would. I I would say that. I yeah. mean, how many bands would you get if there's only like 15 pros? This is true. It would have to be one. Yeah. One. Only yeah. one. Maybe two max. A team that would have to get better. Better. Actually, I would, I would be willing to throw out Veteran. Would yeah, yeah. I, I, I throw out Veteran. Because Chris. Veteran is one of those characters that can really turn it around as well. I mean, I think mm. they're both up on the annoying scale, but for different reasons. <laughs> yeah, the Veteran's are one-shot killing people. It can be yeah. frustrating. But, yeah. screen, and by sure. killing, I, I really mean throwing off, off the edge of the world. But uh, I think yeah. the veteran is almost necessary in the game, though, because yeah, otherwise it would be very stalemated. And that's why I'm kind of willing to suggest that Megabeth is okay the way it is, because then it forces team fights in jungle. Yeah. So mm. I, I like team fights Honestly, in jungle. Honestly, those Maybe... you said are very, very exciting when you actually get players that understand that concept. Yeah. Because right. fighting and, up in a team fight on Loco Moco, even if you're playing a class like support that doesn't necessarily have to be up on the same level to contribute, it really puts a lot of stress into the game. I mean, you can definitely throw a bomb underneath and try and help your team that way. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yes, those those underneath bombs can be pretty yeah. pretty harsh. Yeah, especially I mean, because they don't see the uh, reticle. 
Yeah, I mean, but I'm just thinking now, like, okay, if you chase the Megabeth away because she's afraid of getting screwed over, the, the thing you would have to do then with that extra couple seconds of real estate is make sure you're always just tagging bots. So the game would become a thing of this cat and mouse and jungle where you're, you're asserting your presence, hopefully getting more pick damage off on the other side, fighting for who gets the gremlin kill. Hmm. I mean, that's huge. First level. Right. Yeah. I mean, a lot of what oh, I'm yeah. seeing now is love those people gremlins. really fighting for the gremlin because that's half your health bar, like half your XP bar right there in the first gremlin. And then yeah. so that's that's at 22 seconds it comes out. And then the next one's a minute uh, something. It's a, it's every 40 seconds after the uh, after it spawns yeah, for the you, gremlin. And, uh, you know, you're doing it, something it's very wrong. important to get those things. Under playing the importance of the first gremlin kill because particularly if you're getting close to the first gremlin when you die you not only well sorry when it dies not only do you get the coins from that which is negligible but nice you get the churro and if you've actually timed that fight right you're actually yeah, able you to come out on top two yeah. skill shots in that as well as getting another half health bar mm. it's mm. a massive advantage you can pretty much turn around with the use of churros and proper usage of them you can actually turn around a 2v1 into an actual win with two equally skilled opponents i love yep. me so cool. uh, yes. one one kind of thing to mention about the gremlin there like so if you're on spunky and you go down uh so what you should do is uh you can if you tag a bot uh just before like before or after the gremlin and and then you get the gremlin you basically have a hundred like way faster than anyone will ever get a hundred so uh, then you can, that person can buy the uh, first jump pad in middle uh, very quickly if he gets the gremlin and like just hits something else. Because mm. uh, I think if you just only get the gremlin, uh, last time I tried, like you have around 70 something gold. Mm -hmm. And then if you, but then if you also hit like a slim or something, like I think you can do it just before uh then or or just after like you get a hundred like very quickly mm. like before anyone can get it and so then you can so that whoever gets that can actually on that map in particular really has an advantage because then you're going to be on top of the ring before the other team and then you yeah. can potentially hurt them on on what uh, from above right right mm -hmm. so and i wanted to ask... I think we've been talking over our two hosts and possibly boring them a little bit yeah. for the last uh... oh i went up <laughs> got coffee i i, 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 I mean, wanted to I know good. what you guys thought about the new gunner changes there's a long list of things that have happened. He seems to have gotten a bit of a buff with some, you know, um, new initial armor increases. I don't play increases. Gunner. I face Gunner quite often because he's kind of used common in pubs. Mm -hmm. And in all honesty, thumbs up, I like. Yeah. It's going to be more of a threat now. It's really bad that one of the things I want to do as a support is bait him into a slam. So I want to bait him into possibly dealing more damage to me because he will deal more less damage to me overall for doing that, and mm. that's kind of silly. Interesting. That is interesting. Yeah. Explain that concept a little um, bit more. If I pull out my shotgun and start laying down on a few hits on him, and then swap to my uh, hurt beam and just stay right at that edge, just poking him in in and out, he will want to keep his minigun on me. If I bunny hop while doing this, he's going to have a hard time actually bringing me into bear because he's going to be slowed. He's going, not going to be able to position himself closer. He's mm -hmm. going to want to slam because that's going to be what's ingrained into him when he's fighting commandos. So when he does slam, swap to my shotgun, get in a uh, grapple, shotgun blast, and then instant... Um, it, you do have to aim it a bit carefully, so you have to lower your sights a little, but I can get an instant um, ground zero on his head. Mm -hmm. And once that's done, I literally book it because I do not, I do not want to be yeah. caught in that blast radius because <laughs> it can kill me. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't mess you up. But the only reason why that works is because well, the second he slams, his gun speed goes to zero. He does damage from his gun, which is his most threatening thing to me, is nothing. Yeah. Hmm. Sounds interesting. Like, yeah, again, yeah this mini or dual mini gun. That only occurs in public level play against people that yeah. don't exactly know what they're doing. No yeah. longer sit spin speed to zero when you slam or juice. If you slam or juice with the weapon spun up, you will only lose. Oh, they, uh, yeah. they, make, they made gunners more annoying to snipers now because you can't headshot them when they're on deploy. <laughs> yes, yeah. which is very yeah. nice for all I, you uh, gunners out there because it, it makes it reasonable to deploy when there's a sniper on the other team. I thought they already had the headshot protection, but it starts well, no, at the no. start would, of the deploy. I would usually kill us, the gunners like all the time when they were undeploying because uh, they're yeah. basically stuck there in that animation and they're headshotable. So now they fix. Yeah, this. I see. 
Right, and honestly, no, anything that makes things that take takes away a few things that are really easy for snipers to pull off, I fully agree with. I fully <laughs> agree with the same on commandos because they are supposed to be the most difficult classes to play, and they are supposed to be those that reward the high skill ceilings. Yep, that's cool. true. So the other no, one, nothing beats a, a highly skilled assassin. I guess some of the other notes that we want to make note of would be that tank's shield no longer protects tank from the annihilator or ejectors, which mm -hmm. is good to know. Good to know. Uh, they did do a lot of changes to Leo, which seemed to pretty much be bringing him back up or changing him back to what he was before patch. Slightly. Uh, no, although now his well. alternate fire on his mono mona laser uh, will heal friendly combat kitties, fire bases, mm -hmm. and Vincent defense or Venice defense. Venice. Defense. Venice defense because little things Italy. and and they fixed it so when you actually kill that uh, little thing of his it goes away yeah yes it does go away now it doesn't just stand there and mock you <laughs> and, <you're, laughs> and you keep shooting it thinking it's still there yeah or even yeah. worse when you're away. playing a Leo and that assassin has snuck by blown it up on you and then run off and you, now you're falling back to it to actually get yeah. away <laughs> yeah. and you're not paying attention to it and realizing that it's red yeah yep. it's quite dead Mr. Red yeah. uh, they did yeah, do so... they did fix the shuriken bug with the uh, you know the fact that it would not do damage sometimes and they did increase the radius what do they mean radius like the actual width of how much damage will the shuriken do you know on the stray organ yeah. yeah I think they mean uh... radius of the actual size of the bullet yeah because it says radius from 8 to 16 should fix some instances of the shurikens doing no damage. Oh, it just made it, yeah. So the radius around the shurikens itself. So you don't have to be quite as spot on as you used to be. Yeah. Well, 16 is still pretty small. Yeah, it is. But still. You know. But it's not. not it's doubled it its size, effectively, from what it was. And yep. then the gunslinger, they nerfed her kneecap range. Oh, slightly. Yeah, a little bit. Slightly. I... Slightly. Hey, slightly, slightly. Where did you go? One from I 2304 still... to 2048. I mean, that one patch when they made it, I mean, effect. okay, they they nerfed it a little since, but now when slow when uh, commandos are slowed, they mm. can't uh, escape at oh, least yeah. uh, assassin or Wasco. or um, uh, why can't I think? Of it? Yeah, Sparks. they did it by seventy five, and then they didn't it. Yeah, yeah and they, then I, they I, it, it just back. always leans me towards gunslinger now because I used to play a lot of sniper, but it's, I don't know, man. Like the slow, like that's still a huge range on kneecap, the two thousand. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. Like, I because the the about... thing for me that really was really good about sniper was being able to have, I mean, having two ice traps at level three was nice, but blocking the skills. Um, so if you if you trap someone, they if you had especially a character like assassin or something like that, they couldn't escape, right? And now they can, <laughs> but I guess they're still slowed. I guess it's still I don't know. No, I, I just always prefer Gunslinger now. It's just, I do, I, because I am a good shot. I can hit with it. Yeah. It, they do, it does crazy DPS. Like, if you're just constantly, you know, shooting them, with, especially in the head. Mm -hmm. And they can slow everyone, like, all the time. Like, I don't know. I don't know how Sniper really deals with that. Because you have to headshot them with Sniper. And you can't, like, hit, you can't slow the whole team, like, at once. Yeah. Oh. I don't know. Mm. Just click well, faster. You can with aggressive ice trapping. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Extremely aggressive ice trapping. Yeah. I have actually I mean, had the sniper. I've been using it, and it, I mean, sniper still does good. Assault. Yeah, they get ice trap, but I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I'm on a talk show in the middle of the night talking about Super Monday Night Combat. I do. I <laughs> Why? Is that what's going on? No, no. So, anybody else that would like to call us up and argue the points that we are making here, please feel free to do so. Mm -hmm. um, we would love to have your calls. Also, I guess we're kind of jumping more into the theory crafting side of it because, I mean, we pretty much covered all the useful patch notes. Oh, uh, that uh, and the flare. I yeah, just want to go over the flare again for Big Angry Beaver. Mm. Big Angry Beaver. They also have der uh, derpy corn. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Big Angry Beavers. I mean, I liked the Angry Beavers when I was growing up. They were yeah. a fun show. Anybody that hasn't watched it needs to watch it. You guys are missing the biggest point out there and it was even brought up in chat at the very start of this what? um sparks new skin come oh, on yo monday night uh, fever <laughs> i want oh yes take my money now take my money <laughs> yeah yeah yes yep for a dollar yes. oh yes oh Defty is it unicorn. actually only a dollar I, it's some things at all no the target's a dollar oh uh, well yeah yes as everyone might... can see here 
It's two bucks for that ammo and bacon thing. Jesus Christ. I mean, I you can tell that Sparks is very well endowed here. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah, they need to it? nerf his crotch. <laughs> Yeah. I think it's more of an yeah. armored cod piece to protect his assets. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes, protect the sparkly jewels. Oh, wow, dude. <laughs> did I really do that? Yes. It looks like they I actually did a pretty neighbor. big uh, upgrade to the interface itself, judging from like the screenshot of the store. Really? Yeah. They like, changed it a bit, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah they the... did, didn't it? Captain Romance is his name. He's going to be seven ninety nine. dollars Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Totally redid the store look to it. It doesn't have this like gray, yeah, kind of thing. Who There's lots of wasted space still... in the gray section. Ah. I will just uh, say this: any wait. terms of UI what? changes on this one? Thank gameplay. God, really? these past few ones have really That's been like... rough on me for playing. For playing what? Come again? What? Uh, hmm? Anything in the terms of UI changes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank God. Yes, I, have really I not agree. Like last few ones that they've come up with. Yeah. I see what you did there, Rebel. I see it. <laughs> oh God. Terrible. Anyways, terrible. as much fun as this is, I didn't call up to necessarily be talking with you guys all night, so <laughs> I'm just going to get going. All right. <laughs> all right. Thank you very it's much for joining us. For the comments. Yeah, thanks for joining hey, us all. And good, all fun. you other people should call and talk to us for uh, 23 minutes. So. Yes. Exactly. Thank you very much, uh, sweetie. Sweets. Jackals. Sweet, sweet, sweet jackals. jackals. Yeah. Ooh, I wonder if they're like candy coated. Maybe. Maybe mm -hmm. maybe that's what makes them sweet. And then they're sour on the inside, and then on the inner sweet inside they have like a chocolate core. Oh, I was going to say we oh. should play a game now, but apparently the patch just hit. Did well, it? Oh. Why Why can't we oh. play a 23 mini game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, see? Right there. <laughs> Well, let's see what happens. It, sh it showed me on the, the game is currently unavailable. Shh. Yeah. That's Update good though. required. But hey, good, good. Pause. But I don't updating. want to pause updating. I want to resume updating. Really, really pause is it. it still, is it updating for you? Is no, Uber not. going to go? It no, is play game, and then it'll launch, and then it'll start updating. It didn't tell me. Uh, my my game's loading. I don't know what's wrong with you, dude. There it goes. Ready to play in Flock oh, Zero seconds. It is. Yeah. 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 Update oh. news. My, my laptop that I'm playing is so slow that I can update and load the game at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> and by the time it's Looky done here, loading boy. the game, it's Looky done here. updating. I don't know if that's a good oh, thing. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm in Super Monday <laughs> Smooth. It's because I'm in Super Monday Night Combat is why it uh, All right, won't mine let me works. launch it again. Mine works. Close yours. Launch Close again. My, well, yeah. I mean, if I'm already Exit. in it, then... Exit! Uh, I'm, I'm just going to make sure to tell everybody that, you know, is in the chat, Patch. too. Patch! It's not new map, just leave game. See, there's a there's yeah. a big old dispute going on about assault in our chat. <laughs> oh, I saw that earlier. That, yes, uh, please, do saying... call us up and fill us in, and we need to argue about something and tell them why they're wrong! Yeah, yeah. they were saying that Salt was uh, OP or that they wanted to remove Fly. Or, yeah. And I'm like, don't remove Fly. You can't remove Fly. They did make it a significantly better by letting you grapple him when he's close to the ground, although that did really badly affect the Assassin, from what I have heard. What, that grappling when he's close to the ground? Yeah, like the, you can grapple you the Assassin around. when jumping. More air grapples. Yeah, there's uh, more air, air grapples. grapples. Good. Bar. That's you. What do you mean that's me? That's you Just with the noise. Oh, what noise? The, oh. the game. Uh -huh. Why is it me? Because it's Because just, you I, turned up my knob. You turned my knob. <laughs> yes, I love playing with your knobs. They're so nice. They are. They're white and knobby. They're white and gray and knobby. Yes, gray. they are. Oh, they're on the blue background, though, so it's all yes, good. They are. Yes, they are. No one's talking about removing fly. I, 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 you can scroll up. There was totally talk about removing fly. What can we do for you again? Hey, sweetie. Sweets. Jackal. Hello. Hello, did, you did, called to have me back? Did I? No, you called us. <laughs> no, get out of here. Hello? Get out of here. Yeah, you did. You <laughs> totally <laughs> called us. Yeah, you totally <laughs> called us. I called to call back on the stream. Never mind then. Uh, oh, no, I mean, no, you goodbye. can call back. I mean, it, it's good, but... Uh, We're all friends here. Hey, yeah, yeah. We love everybody. Yep. Everybody. Yep. That's why we want more people to call us and talk to us, because we would mm -hmm. like to discuss things with you and yell at you, possibly. Yes, and we have do. You yell and at we us. want to play a game, because the past just hit. <laughs> 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 
unlike you guys with super duper internet, it's gonna take me like twenty minutes to do that. So. Seriously, <laughs> the patch the patch was like a megabyte. No, it dude, was one point seven gigs. Oh, really? Yeah. Yep. What the fuck are you talking about, dude? Are you on like some sort of be. cocaine crack? <laughs> some sort of. You're okay. on some sort of I'm, cocaine crack. I'm on the good kind. The good kind. I was yes. listening to the radio one night, and they were talking about a band called Massive Cocaine Seizure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a call. Nice. There we go. Thirty minutes. Hey, Mr. Kurt. Kurt. What's up? What can uh, we do for you? Welcome to Beyond the Rift. Please quit bashing the keyboard. What's up? Continue. All right. Uh, yeah, so I just called to talk about the assault that's been, you know, chatted about here. Um, yeah. I don't see any need to nerf him at all, I or agree. if so, not not that much, because I think he's in a good position right now. I do. I do agree. Uh, I do agree. What makes you think he's in a good position right now? What about him makes you believe such things? Uh, well, I mean, now that you can grapple him when he's kind of hovering on the ground, like yeah. not flying in the air. Mm hmm and you can you can headshot him out of the air, and you can grapple him out of the air, mm. and you can stun him out of the air, and uh, you know he's he's just not that big of a threat as he was months yeah, ago. Yeah. So I mean he's still going to be able to carry games and get a lot of kills towards the end of games. Yeah, like oh, he's yeah. supposed to. Uh, well, everyone's supposed to. He, well, yeah, but I mean he's a striker, right? So he's right. kind of supposed to do that. Um, now that the patch is hitting, and we're going to see what the, you know, uh, ramifications of the money ball and turret changes are going to be, mm -hmm. then maybe we'll see if he needs to be nerfed again, because, sure, because that was one of the big problems, was he could get behind enemy lines and just keep the shields down indefinitely, flying over people's bases. Uh, so if, if that kind of negates that ability a little bit, then maybe he doesn't need any more nerfs. Mm, and right. and just to throw it out there, I I always found as long as something else wasn't killing me, like when they're when they're flying above that, trying to cheese your turrets like that, mm -hmm. they're they're not moving that fast. I always found as a veteran, they were kind of easy to pull out of the air, and especially as a sniper, I could pretty oh, yeah. reliably shoot them as long because normally by that time there's so much shit in your base that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's why he, he's really annoying because you can't. You have to really split your attention all over the place. And if you n ignore the lane to try and kill him, then the lane's probably gonna ball you. I mean, because the only the only times where he can really do that is when the other team is really winning, right? I mean, because that's mm -hmm. like that. The main concern is uh, flying over your rocket turrets and your money ball. Yeah. But but I mean, just flying in the air. I've grappled so many people just flying in the air, like just mm. trying to run away. It's it's actually not that hard. And, and when they added headshotting, like lowers him down. I think it's fine, because I mean there are counters to it, right? You just have to be good. You just have to <laughs> land skill shots. Like I don't know. Yeah, unlike Megabeth. And really, it's <laughs> up to the opposing team to have the proper classes on their team to be able to bring him down. Um, right. The, the other yeah, thing yeah. is Megabeth, like like you said, uh, just just to chime in there for one second, you can laze him and shoot the fuck out of him because he's like <laughs> flying really slow and yeah. it'll destroy his health. Yeah. You, can, you can do that all the time. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Cool. Yes, you, yes we can. No, you can't. Yeah, I, I think a lot of, I think this, this patch is actually a good move because now that you can't cheese the shields down like that, I think a yes. lot of the crying about a lot of classes will go away. Yeah. So, because then, because people are do the same argument with uh, assassin, like oh it's OP, because like because they're gonna they're gonna shoot the turret and then run away when you try and chase them away, and then mm -hmm. they'll run the other side of the map and shoot the turret. Yeah. So, I mean, the real problem is not that their character is OP, is that your team isn't doing well. Like you shouldn't have your shields down. Like... Teamwork OP. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Teamwork. <laughs> Nerf teamwork now. <laughs> Yeah, yes. like you shouldn't be in that position, but anyway. Cool, well, Another thank you very much. Thing, Do you have anything uh, else? Yeah, I just wanted to say something else about this fly on assault, is that people are saying that it's too fast, and, I mean, that's kind of, that's true a little bit if you're flying in one direction, if you're, if you're flying straight, but if you have to change direction midair, mm -hmm. you can slow down basically to a standstill just trying to fly left to right. 
so I mean, the other person just has to know how to aim a grapple or a, you know, like a vet claw or a or a headshot from a sniper or a gunslinger, or even a megabeth rocket, just you know, to hit you in midair. Um, you're not completely invincible up there. Plus, that you know, your damage fall off on the assault rifle is is huge. You're not. It's huge. You know, if you're two stories above somebody else, you're not going to be hitting them at full damage with your assault rifle. Yeah, correct. And with, correct. And with your grenade launcher, you've only got six rounds, and you know it's. Don't forget about it's head a little crabs. bit harder to to yeah head yeah head crabs, but they nerf that you know. So if you get fifty extra damage, uh, which is on top of uh, a lot. Uh, well, at at max level, it's about a thousand. Oh, horror! And at level fifteen, uh, yeah, you'll get a thousand, but uh, still, that's not enough to one shot anybody. No, no. It's the same damage as a bomb. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I don't. Uh, anyway, I I mm. I'm very very skeptical about calling things OP, and I think. Uh, I don't think anything's really OP. Teamwork. It's just things are annoying players that play the game, but without teams, maybe, or something. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 But that's well, good. You, you got to do that because you need to. You need to make it fun, <laughs> right? So yeah, whatever yeah. makes it yeah. funner for people, on average, oh is uh, what's gonna win out. But you don't want to totally screw over the game just to. Of these whiners either. So yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's, the that's truth. something that uh, the developers are walking a fine line there. So they, mm -hmm. I think they're doing a good job so far. I, I really think the the shield and uh, money ball nerf uh, is gonna uh, kind of cool down the rage a little bit. So yeah, that, that should help. It should help. So what other topics do we want to discuss? I wanted to, uh, what controversial topic has there been lately? Um, I know one big controversial topic. Um, Super Monday Night Combat numbers have been down because of a mysterious game release that happened on Tuesday. <laughs> um, yeah. I want to know what everybody thinks about that. Oh, so we're, we're switching topics really fast for, no, to a no. completely different game? No. no. Same game. Same game? Same game. You're wondering why there's so few people playing Super no. Monday Night Combat today? No. Never, never mind. Never mind. I don't think anyone's playing every any game besides Diablo. <laughs> yeah. 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 The rest of the world is playing Diablo 3. We actually had to stop playing Diablo 3 to come here. Yep. <laughs> I, I had to pull myself away to uh, come do a show on so. the other game that I play all the time. Yeah. And uh, hey, in a few weeks, I'll, if possible, uh, we might also be doing a show on Smite. So wouldn't yeah. that be awesome? If anybody hasn't heard about Smite, they should go look into it. It's from uh, Uber, not Uber. It's from Hi-Rez, Hi -Rez, and Hi -Rez. Uh, it's a uh, MOBA third-person thing. It's the best ex explanation from it was, it's a over-the-shoulder MOBA like this, but it's played on a 2D plane. There's no aiming up and down or anything like that. It's it's you know definitely worth checking out. So we'll throw up a link in chat or so. Yes, we will. Back to the patch now, Mister. Yes. Mr. Hey, distractor hey, I, of things. Well, yeah, it's ga it's a gaming and Diablo yeah, I mean, three they, just they, came out. You can't not talk about it. Yeah, sure we can. Yep. <laughs> We can. <laughs> yes, tank is in this patch. They basically fixed what? his shields. Uh, they fixed his shields where they don't take. It doesn't protect him from the annihilator or what was the other thing? I suddenly forgot. Uh, head crabs. Head crabs. No. Uh, from the annihilator and land crabs. Ej ejectors. Yeah, it's ejectors. ejectors. There we go. I knew it was escaping me all of a sudden. But yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yep, Do you have any other questions for us or I mean, any basically comments? Basically covered everything. I mean that. Yeah. That's nothing really else. Now it's just going to be wait and see and see how the that map plays out. I'm really yeah. Curious. Um, actually, I do need to mention that this tomorrow, not tomorrow, Saturday, when we normally do our Super Monday Breakfast Awesome Time, Revel is going to be running it because I have to go to Mud Mania with the family. He's going to go. All I'm mud going to throw my child. I'm going to go throw my children in big pits of mud and get them all. <laughs> disgustingly okay. dirty and then we're gonna hose them off with freezing cold water because that's what it's like a yearly tradition here in Ark City where they have this big gathering and they get these huge dump trucks to come in and dump mud and Serious? mess. Seriously, really? yeah. I mean yeah. it's a it's a like uh -huh. there are thousands of people go to this event. It's just giant mud pits everywhere and so you know my, my infant's gonna have a blast because he already loves a little like play time like water and so he's gonna have I don't he's, he's gonna, gonna eat he so much mud. <laughs> he's gonna oh, be like oh but anyway, so yeah, Revel will be running it Saturday. I will come out here and start it up, likely, because I don't know if we'll leave too early, because that poor little 
bastard doesn't go to sleep before <laughs> six in the morning. Um, <laughs> that little <laughs> bastard. Yeah, and uh, this won't be on the internet forever or anything. No, he's I won't see this when he's like twenty. Oh yeah, and he'll forever. totally hear about it too when he's twenty. Oh, yeah, he's I'd be like, I could have been pro, but you were too busy whining and not sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Yeah. So he'll love me. Um, <laughs> no, no, it is not time to abuse. Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. What other yeah. topics would we like to discuss? Anybody in chat? Well, do you have any topics you want us to throw out here for everybody on the stream slash chat to really, you know, hammer down? Because hammer frankly, down, 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 down. I'm happy that they kind of re uh, re envision Leo again. Yes, and uh, we have a. Um, comment from the commenters on below us down there or over depending on your screen uh the tank's jet gun goes through uh, the money ball walls it always did uh did they fix that no right i don't think i so. don't think they, they didn't mention it so no no so is this intended? they really need to fix that because i i feel dirty doing it i mean every time <laughs> I, I mean there's some times where i'm just like fuck it and i just i just cheese the rocket turrets through the glass but you know oh. Mm -hmm. It's like one of those things that's like, no, don't give me that option. Yeah, like, I don't, I don't want to have it. Yeah, so I am, I'm currently still 15 minutes out from having Super Monday Night Combat, so I don't think we're gonna get another game in tonight because Ooh. I have four computers in my house downloading it right now. <laughs> this one, the laptop, and then my boys' computers, and they all play it. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. So if you get stuck with Rocco Rise or Draco Scar, I'm sorry. They're my five and my eight year old. My eight year old's pretty good. My five year old, not so much. He can run around and shoot things just fine because he's good at first person shooters. But don't expect teamwork out of him. <laughs> <laughs> no teamwork. No he's teamwork. like, oh look, it's a colorful. <laughs> He'll stop and look at everything. Yes, it's but uh, actually, on the next day that, so probably next week, I'm gonna preferably have my oldest son out here for uh, Saturday morning Super Monday Night Combat. And uh, we'll, you know, have some great time playing with my eight-year-old son and listening to him complain, cry and complain about how the other team's OP for teamwork. <laughs> and yep. just, you know, bitching about, <laughs> bitching about that assassin that keeps jumping in and killing him and none of his teammates are around to help him because they're all too busy doing what the hell ever they feel like. And that's exactly what he's going to say. It is. <laughs> oh, he'll, he's he'll say it just like that, he'll, too. He will complain and complain. Same vocabulary he and is, everything. He is a little... <laughs> yeah. I'm having to teach him about sportsmanship he Perhaps. he does have the gg at the end of every game though i'm forcing that That's mm -hmm. it. yes speaking of bugs there is bug. a bug bugging us yes yeah. very large bug not not like that other big bug that was fell on you or something no it fell remember last week Oh yeah, like yeah, the, the yeah, fell, yeah that fell, just from, fell the from the sky. <laughs> because we do this outside in my uh, workshop studio pseudo thing, and uh, it's not exactly sealed. That's <laughs> yeah. why if if it was raining right now, our green screen would be a little messed up. Because if it rains just right, it comes through the ceiling and then it runs down the wall. So yeah, but we're it's good awesome. enough so where it doesn't do that very often. Right, because we just have to get really bad thunderstorms. Yeah. So anybody else have any questions for us? You know, we'd love to talk about whatever. I guess we'll yeah, we can talk kinda, about whatever. We'll go. I guess I will end the show now for the official patch note discussion section, and we'll just do some uh, good old fun time stuff and have some fun, chit chat, bullshit, whatever. I like. So thanks for joining us. If you were here for the patch notes only, and you uh, if you're here for the patch notes only, stay tuned to whatever we're doing next because I have no idea what it is. Yes, we will have fun. We'll have fun. <laughs> Screenshots, yes. Screenshots. So thanks for joining what? us, guys. I we'll don't like the upload sound of this that. ASAP. See you then. <laughs>